Welcome back to our Mississippi State Bulldogs Dynasty in NCAA Football 2003. Today we are traveling to Nashville, Tennessee to take on Jay Cutler and the Vanderbilt Commodores. Now last season they beat us 32-27, a shocking upset, even though Jay Cutler threw a bunch of interceptions. And this season he hasn't really started off too hot either. They are currently winless on the season and looking at their stats you can see why. Not a whole lot of production on the offensive side. A lot of sacks allowed by this offensive line. And Ralph McKenzie leads the team in tackles with 30. Having a decent year at outside linebacker. Only three interceptions from their defense. Ken Tops, 39 of 60, 701 yards, nine touchdowns, and only three interceptions so far this season. That's good for 65 completion percentage. Only sacked five times. O-line doing a phenomenal job this year, especially with the run blocking. With Ken Tops over 500 and Norwood at 409 on the year with five touchdowns. Ken Tops had all four of his rushing touchdowns last game. Bryson Davis having a smaller year than usual in the stat department. 16 broken tackles for Norwood on the year. John Pena leads our team in receiving with 10 catches. Only 98 yards though. Bunch of first downs from it. A lot of guys with two touchdown catches. Ray Ray Bivens, 233 yards receiving on seven catches. That is 33.2 yards per catch. Rusty Holloway, the senior right tackle, two pancakes this season, and not one sack allowed, and that is huge since he allowed 24 sacks in the last two years combined. So he's off to a great start this year for our O-line, our senior leader. And George Tyler leads our defense in tackles with 22 Freshman free safety having a heck of a year. Got his first career interception last week, and it was a big one. Slovakia Griffith with 19 tackles. Gabe Wallace with 13. Neil Nelson has six tackles for a loss on the year with two sacks. Unbelievable. He's one of the best players on our team, regardless of overall. Slovakia Griffith with three picks this year. Gabe Wallace with two. George Tyler one. Donnie Kramer with one as well. We did redshirt him, but the game is allowing him to play. I wonder if he'll be a redshirt sophomore next year. Who knows? Desmond Mikuloff has a forced fumble. Freshman defensive tackle. Markel McKinley has the only fumble recovery from our defense this year. Mike Randall, 3 of 3, kicking field goals. Brian Martin, 4 punts. And 3 of them were inside the 20. And here he is for the opening kickoff of this game in Nashville, Tennessee. 25 mile an hour wins. And that kick is all the way to the 1 yard line where Beard will return it. And he is stopped at the 14-yard line. Great coverage downfield for the Bulldogs. Vanderbilt, 110th in the nation in offense, 268 yards per game. That is awful as they hit Smith on the right side. Nice pickup for Jay Cutler in this Vanderbilt offense. Smith has 295 yards receiving on 21 catches this year. And Cutler's going to keep it left side himself, and he's going to get close to the first down here. About an 8- or 9-yard pickup. Neil Nelson on the tackle. Third and one upcoming. Goal line formation. McKenzie gets the pitch, and he is stuffed short of the first down. That is freshman linebacker Craig Walton coming up to make the play. Bulldogs take over on offense after they get their 20th victory in the Ralph Crest era. And here is Ken Toss pitching out to Bryson Davis past midfield. That's the 40 all the way down to the 30-yard line. What a huge run. A 45-yard pickup for Bryson Davis, sophomore halfback. And here's Justin Garrett, freshman fullback, getting a carry. He gets close to the first down sticks. Third and one. Bryson Davis gets the carry again, and he'll pick up the first down. Bulldogs now inside the red zone. Looking to get on this board. Here's Fred Reed. Breaks the tackle. Still going inside the 10-yard line. Diving. And he is short of the end zone. Tried to get that pylon. He got taken out at the two. Second and goal, Ken Topps sweeps it, and he is in the end zone, reaching over the goal line. Touchdown, Bulldogs, 7-0 lead early in this game. Cutler, and that is deflected by Mikuloff up the middle. Take a look. Freshman defensive tackle just getting those big paws up in the air. Third and seven, Cutler looking to throw it again, and he's got McKenzie out of the backfield. First down, Commodores. Cutler going to throw it again here. Offensive line doing a great job blocking, and he finds Walker for a five or six yard pickup. And tack on five more yards as Antoine Finch take, took him down by the face. Cutler's going to option out left side this time, keep it himself and pick up the first down. What a hit. What a hit by Gabe Wallace, senior right outside linebacker, coming up, making a nice open field tackle. 
Cutler looking to throw it. Pressured by Mikulov. He chucks it up deep. And George Tyler gets another interception at about the 10-yard line going across the left sideline. Getting blockers, juking out three defenders in the open field. George Tyler is gone. What an insane play by the freshman free safety. And that silences this crowd in Nashville. 90-yard interception return for a touchdown. Unbelievable play for George Tyler. Just following his blocks here. Let Slovakia Griffith block for him. Jukes out three players, including Jay Cutler. And nobody's going to catch that young man in the open field. What a start to this game. Bulldogs on top, 14 to nothing. Cutler under the center, looking to throw it here. Pressured by Mikulov, and he is finally taken down for the sack. And that is Robert Spivey. He's been a starter for three years. Finally gets his first career sack. Cutler looking to throw over the left side, and Page is taken down eight yards shy of the first down. They punt the ball away. And Topps looking to option pass here, and he is sacked for a loss of three yards by Blake. Vanderbilt ranked 116th in the nation, allowing 513 yards of offense per game. But on this play, they get Norwood in the backfield for a loss of three. Young defensive back coming up to make a nice play. Third and 16, Topps in the shotgun. Pump fakes. Looking for somebody to get open. Nobody is. He's going to scramble right side. Pull up to throw and finds Ray Ray Bivens down to the 43-yard line. First down. Third and 10. And Tops is sacked back at the 48-yard line. Fourth and 15 upcoming. Brian Martin on for the punt. 27-mile-an-hour wins. And Tate is going to down this ball and hit it out of bounds at the 2- or 3-yard line. Great punt by Brian Martin. Cutler will hand it off to McKenzie, and he is stopped for no gain. Nice play by the defensive line. Second and nine, Cutler looking to throw off his back foot and finds the tight end, Cameron, for about a six-yard pickup. Third and three upcoming. Cutler looking to throw, goes left side to Cameron again. Finch couldn't stick with him, and that is a first down for the Commodores. Three consecutive completions for Jake Cutler. High snap. Cutler throws it left again to Page for another first down for Vanderbilt. Four consecutive completions for Jake Cutler, and they're going to draw play up the middle here, and he is destroyed by Gabe Wallace. Unbelievable hit. Third and five, running back in motion to the left side. Cutler's going to throw it to the sideline, and Moore makes the catch on the sideline, getting a foot inbounds. First down, Vanderbilt. They have 93 passing yards so far, and Cutler's going to look to air it out again. Goes over the middle, and George Tyler destroys the receiver. Would have been a huge catch for the Commodores. Second and 10. Play action. Wide open is Page for the first down. And George Tyler comes up and makes another big hit. Third and 10. Cutler in the shotgun. Throws it deep. And Slovakia Griffith goes for the one-handed interception. But well, that'll force fourth down nonetheless. Good play by the senior. Vanderbilt's going to go for it here. Cutler looking to throw. Goes into the end zone. And he overthrows his intended target. Bulldogs take over. Second and ten now. Two minutes to go in the first half. And here's Tops pitching it late. And Nord gets past the 45-yard line. First and ten. Norwood right up the middle to the second level and gone. Nobody's going to catch him. That safety does not take a good angle. Touchdown Bulldogs. Unbelievable play right up the middle. Just gets past the line. And into the second level. And you're not going to catch Jarius Norwood too often in the open field. Especially taking a bad angle like that. Cutler back on offense. Looking to throw it. Goes left side. Open again is Page on the left side. Down to the 48-yard line. Cutler's thrown the ball 21 times already for 133 yards and a pick. Third and 10. More on the left side. He really likes to go to the left side. And it's working for them so far. First and 10, Cutler pressured and sacked. He is brought down, and that was freshman linebacker Craig Walton on the sack. Cutler going deep left side, and Griffith misjudges the ball, and more stiff arms George Tyler and is in the end zone for six. What a play for the Commodores. On for the extra point, and they shank it to the left side, so that six-play 80-yard drive ends with a missed extra point, and that'll end the first quarter. Half with the Mississippi State Bulldogs on top of the Vanderbilt Commodores, 21 to 6. Bulldogs offense really hasn't had a whole lot going for him so far as Nord gets the return from the 14-yard line. Very short kick, 
Brings it out right, cuts it back left in the open field. And it is a foot race, and nobody is going to catch him. He is gone. What a way to start the second half for Mississippi State. Norwood is pumped right now. 28-6 to is now the score. Let's take a look at that replay. Just nobody stayed home on the left side and contain. And you're not going to catch him. Third and ten upcoming here for the Commodores. Cutler goes right side. Almost intercepted by Slovakia Griffith. Would have been his fourth pick on the year. Justin Garrett, the fullback, gets a carry. He picks up five yards up the middle. Second and five. Norwood setting up the screen here. And he is stuffed. That is a loss of five on a pass play. Riley with his third tackle for loss on the game. Third and ten. Tops. Pump fakes. Waiting for someone to get open. Breaks a tackle. And he's scrambling left side, still going. And he finds Goldberg down to the 31-yard line. Unbelievable play by Ken Tops to keep that play alive. And finally finding Scott Goldberg in the middle of the field. Look at this play. I don't know how he broke out of that sack attempt. But he did. Followed two blockers, scrambled left side, finally finding Scott Goldberg, senior wide receiver, wide open in the middle of the field. First down, Bulldogs. Tops looking to throw again. He pump fakes. He's going to scramble, pull up and throw left. And that is Jose Jefferson for a 12-yard pickup and a first down. His fourth catch on the year. And he's got 43 yards receiving. Tops pump fakes once again. Goes over the middle. Scott Goldberg gets it. And he is decked at the end of the play at about 36-yard line. First down, Bulldogs. Tops looking to throw again. He's got Ray Ray Bivens wide open. And he gets it inside the 5-yard line. First and goal, MSU. What a play. Tops almost 800 yards passing on the season. And he'll hand it off to Justin Garrett, who's taken down inches shy of the end zone. Second and goal. Tops under center. Hands it off to Norwood, who walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. 35-6 is now the score. And Cutler is destroyed. My goodness. I believe that was Neil Nelson. And it was... Coming up on a quarterback draw and destroying Jay Cutler. Third and 13. Cutler looking to throw it. It was a deep, and that's intercepted by Jimmy Lindsay at the 40-yard line. Another interception for this Bulldog defense against Jay Cutler. Justin Garrett in motion right side. Nori gets the pitch, and he fights forward, getting about six yards. He's up to 70 yards on seven carries. Third and seven. Tops, pump fakes. Goes deep to the middle, and Goldberg once again makes the catch down to the 12-yard line inside the red zone. First down, Bulldogs. They have yet to throw it on the right side of the field. Tops, options out left side, and he's going to take it in the end zone untouched. 42-6 to is now the score. Still in the third quarter. Here's McKenzie in the open field. George Tyler missed the tackle, and he's finally brought down at the 41-yard line. Best play of the day. For McKenzie, he's almost got 900 rushing yards on the year with nine touchdowns. Cutler pitches it right side, and he is denied any yards. Loses seven. My goodness. And that is Slovakia Griffith, our senior captain of this defense, coming up to make a big play. Second and 16. Cutler throws it right side, and he loses about five or six more yards. Brad Moreno on the tackle for a loss. Huge play. By the freshman corner, third and 23. Last play of the third quarter, and it's intercepted by Slovakia Griffith at the 48. And he is going to go untouched into the end zone. Pick six, number two of the game. Bulldogs just pouring it on at this point. As Cutler threw that into triple coverage. Wasn't even a close pass at all. Receiver had no shot at it. And Slovakia Griffith with that 80 speed takes it all the way to the house. That'll end the third quarter with the Bulldogs on top, 49-6 to here in Nashville, Tennessee. Cutler looking to throw, goes over the middle to Moore, and he's got it all the way to midfield. Finally taken down by Neil Nelson. He's got 98 yards on four catches today. Second and 10. Cutler launches it left side, and that's Moore again, now up over the 100-yard receiving mark. And Cutler has not really tested the right side of the field at all. They go play action. Cutler scrambling, hit as he throws it, and that should have been intercepted. Donnie Kramer should have had an easy pick there. Second and 10. Cutler pump fakes over the middle, and that is McKenzie wide open for an 8-yard pickup. 
Third and two. Cutler going to throw it out of the goal line, and he's got the tight end Cameron. First down inside the red zone, down to the 15-yard line. Gabe Wallace finally brought him down. McKenzie gets a carry right side, and he's going to go untouched into the end zone against these backup de defenders. 49 to 12 is the score right now, pending the extra point. And they are on for the extra point attempt. The kick is up and wide left once again. Two missed extra points by this kicker after two 80-yard drives. Unbelievable. That'll end the game, though, with the Bulldogs winning 52-12 to and the biggest blowout win in this series to date. Ralph Press, another quality win. A very easy win, and it should have been against the a winless team. Bulldogs offense didn't really do a whole lot today. They didn't have to. A couple pick sixes, a kick return for a touchdown, and those three touchdowns won us the game by themselves. 52 points, 28 in the third quarter alone. They did score a touchdown against our backups. Jake Cutler went 19 of 38, one touchdown, three picks. Ken Top, 7 of 11, 122 yards, sacked twice, no touchdown passes. Norwood, two touchdowns on the ground with 82 yards. Davis, the 23 and a half yard average, insane. Tops held the 10 yards rushing today, but he did have two touchdowns. Rusty Holloway, another pancake, his third on the season. Still did not allow a sack. Gabe Wallace with 10 tackles today. My goodness, Donnie Kramer, five tackles. A lot of tackles for a loss today. A couple sacks, Robert Spivey, Craig Walton, the freshman middle linebacker. Three interceptions. Jimmy Lindsey, Slovakia Griffith, George Tyler, 90-yard touchdown return. Insane play. I'm going to have to go back and take another look at that just because. Slovakia Griffith with a pick six. Mike Randall, one of one today for field goals. Brian Martin, two punts, one inside the 20. Kick return for touchdown for Jarius, 86-yarder. And Florida State travels to Miami to take on the number one Hurricanes. Florida State is ranked second. We are going to simulate that game right now. And Miami destroys Florida State 36-7. They remain undefeated. And next week, the Auburn Tigers travel to Starkville, Mississippi, and we are ranked third in the country. They are ranked fifth. This is the game of the week in the whole nation. And we have yet to topple the Auburn Tigers in this series. Will this be the one? Stay tuned, folks. Stick around to find out if we could take out Jason Campbell and Ronnie Brown. Until that game, I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.